Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Today we're going to be covering something extremely important. We're going to be pimping out our Palico. Today I'm going to show you how to befriend all of the Grimmelkin to be able to get all of the amazing items for your Palico, which are absolutely amazing. You're going to go ahead and learn how to get the Plunder Blade today, the Coral Orchestra, the Shield Spire, the Flash Fly Cage, and the, well, you've already got the Vigor Wasp Spray, but these four are very important to get, especially the Coral Orchestra and the Plunder Blade, and the Flash Cage can come in very handy as well. Now, not only do these items come in very handy, but once you complete this, you'll actually be able to befriend the Gajalaka, which unlocks some very, very good benefits. So if you guys want to learn how to do that, you definitely have to follow this video and unlock all of your Palico items. And then we'll be creating another video on how to befriend the Gajalaka. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Keep an eye out for that video in the future. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how to befriend the Bug Trappers. Now, the bug trappers in the ancient forest can be a little difficult to find because if you've already spooked them in area six, they'll be a little difficult to actually follow. Um, but right now where we are here is if we zoom in, you'll see that we're currently in area 17 and we can see the Grimmelkin on the map. So what you can actually do is you can mark the Grimmelkin if you're having an issue following them. Uh, but basically right now he's in the midst of leading us to his little camp or her camp, I don't know, don't want to assume genders, uh, but basically if you've missed the point to where you've spooked them the first time, then they'll be randomly through here, and you can actually start following them. So there is one of the Grimmelkin right there, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to follow him or her to its camp. So right now it's crawling through here, and we're just going to kind of follow it. There we go. So now this is in zone 17. Usually you find them first in area 6, and then you kind of follow them all the way through here. So that's exactly what we're doing now. And eventually, we will get to the camp. Where are you going, Holmes? Going to my camp. There we go. And, of course, we got to swing all the way across. So as you continuously follow them, eventually you will get to their little camp area. And you'll be able to accept the quest to befriend them. Now, when you actually befriend them, you'll get an awesome flash fly cage, as well as the ability for your palico to talk to the Jagras and tame them, which can be useful for various reasons. But here we are. Now we're going to have a little conversation here. I'm not going to spoil that. Now, once our Palico is done talking, this is by far the easiest quest of them to do. We have received the Flashfly Cage and the ability to talk to Jagras. So, very cool. And you'll build, you'll, you basically, they'll be able to ride and bring them into battle, which is pretty useful for various things. And there's also a flower bed here. Now, if you didn't know what the flash fly cage is, your palico will be able to put down this cage with a flash fly in it, which you'll be able to then activate to stun monsters, which comes in super handy for many fights, especially those darn flap flaps that just keep flap flapping around and ruin your life. Definitely having a flash fly cage is super duper handy. Now, to befriend the protectors of the Wild Spire Waste and get the Shield Spire Palico item, you will need to go to Area 8 in the Wild Spire Waste. And you'll see that uh, now, Area 8, just in case you guys don't know, is where that sinkhole is. You probably fought a Barith or a Diablos here many times. And just back here is a little hole. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to jump down here. And this is where you'll be able to find a couple bone piles as well as a group of Grimmelkin down here. So if you go through here where this little marking is, you should be able to find the Grimmelkin just on the other side. So once you talk to the Grimmelkin, you will get a new critical bounty, which is to retrieve three Grimmelkins. So we're going to get a research uh, points for this and a Tell Raider voucher. And basically what you're going to need to do is uh, you'll look at your map and you'll be able to see where the Grimmelkin are. So we've got one over here. Uh, so you can find where all the Grimmelkin are here. There's the Protectors, uh, Plunderers. You'll be able to see where they are. And all you're going to need to do is actually just capture them with your capture net. All right, so now that we can see where the Protectors are, we're going to go ahead and mark them. And we're just going to go ahead and get up to them and see if we can capture them. Now, we do have to capture three. And then we have to bring them back to that same spot so that we can complete the quest. Now, once you've located them, make sure you've got your capture net equipped. 
and go ahead and capture them. There we go. We got our first one. Now, thankfully, since they are easy to find on the map, that's all you'll have to do. So just go through the map, capture them, and then go back to area eight and basically turn them in. All right, so easy enough. Once you have gotten all the Grimalkin, you're just going to go ahead and go to camp 15 if you have that unlocked already, or you can just go to area eight, drop down, and you'll be able to go here and turn in the quest. So they'll go through a little conversation here. If you're wondering what the shield spire is, it's a massive protector shield used to defend against attacks. It can also be used to provoke monsters, drawing their attention. Guard effectiveness increases with proficiency. So you can actually use this to place down and distract monsters while you try to either recover or gain an advantage. Next up, we've got one of the best items for your Palico, the Coral Orchestra. Now, this will also allow you to converse with the Shamos, which can be very useful as well during fights, but the troopers are relatively easy to get. Now, if you've got the Northeast Camp 12 camp unlocked, uh, you can go ahead and travel to there. Otherwise, you're gonna need to get to Camp 11 for this or Camp 10, right exactly where we are now which is relatively easy to get, uh, where you fight the Zitsiyaku over there and Lagania as well quite often, or the Peolumu. But once you get over here, you'll see this little crack in the wall, and this is how you're going to get to the troopers. It's pretty easy from here, and uh, you basically just follow this path. Now, if you have the ability to see them on the map in area 11, you can go ahead and mark them, and we're just going to go through here real quick, and we'll be able to find the troopers at the end. Now, if you do not have the troopers on the map to mark to be able to follow, you can go ahead and climb up here. You're basically going to keep going up until you get to where the troopers are at the very top. So you'll see that we'll go around this way. We're going to jump over this. And then, uh, oh, actually, we want this pearl oyster. You can actually get some of the rare canteen ingredients from these oysters as well, so it's always good to harvest them up when you can. I've already got unlocked, so I'm not too worried about it. We're going to go under this tunnel. And by tunnel, I mean waterfall because words are hard. And we'll find the Grimmel the Grimmel corn, the Grimmelkin right around the corner. Now, once you actually uh, converse with these, you're going to get a quest to kill two Zitsiyaku because they've been terrorizing these poor instrumentalists. Now, once you kill the two Zitsiyaku, you will be rewarded with the Coral Orchestra and you'll now be able to speak to Shamos as well. Now, the Coral Orchestra is absolutely amazing. It'll give you so many good buffs between attack, defense, and even affinity, as well as status resistances. The Coral Orchestra is definitely one of those that you want to have equipped to be able to kill monsters very quickly. Next up is one of the more difficult Grimalkins to actually befriend. If you guys want a full-on tutorial of this, of exactly how it works, I'm going to show you the best I can now that I've already completed it, but you will need to get past the 14th quest and gain access to the lower parts of the Rotten Vale. Now you'll see here that we're going to where Odogaron's nest is, and you'll have access to this camp right here, Central Camp 11, and you'll jump down just like we did. And we're going over to where Odogaron goes to actually rest. Now, you'll see a Linian Researcher here, and the Linian Researcher here needs to be here for you to actually gain access to the Grimalkins. Now, you'll find the Linian Researcher right over here. You're going to need to talk to him, and then you're going to need to go ahead and wander off. Now, the key to this is waiting until Odogaron drags back the Legiana corpse. And once the Legiana corpse is dragged back, then you'll be able to go up to that corpse and the Grimalkin will come running up to it. And once the Grimalkin runs up to it, it'll sprint away. And that's when you will follow it to its actual hideout, which is way down here at the Plunderer's location, which we're gonna go ahead and show you where it runs to, just in case you miss it. If, cause this can happen randomly and you might have already missed it. So you're gonna go ahead and if you can see the Plunderer's on your map down here, you're just gonna go ahead and follow this direction and I'll take you right to them right now. So we're gonna go ahead and go under this little spot here. Now this is where you can actually catch the Bristly Crake and the Petrocanthus. So you might as well look for them while you're here and um, you're going to go in here. Now, you're going to need to make sure that you have a good supply of raw meat because you're going to actually need to place a raw piece of meat right down here, and then you'll need to walk away. Eventually, the Grimalkin will jump down 
pick up the piece of meat and you'll be able to befriend them and you'll get the plunderer's blade and the ability to converse with Jeros, which will be super duper handy because the stun effect of those is amazing, especially in the arena quest. Now, if you guys do want a full on tutorial of this, you can go ahead and click the card in the top right corner. And I actually go through the whole process of the quest there. So if you guys are having some issues with it, just go ahead and check that out. Now the plunder blade is by far one of the best items to have because it'll make your farming life significantly easier. If you guys do not know what the plunder blade is, it's an item that allows your pally code to basically snatch more items from monsters as you're fighting. Now, the quantity of stolen items increases with proficiency, and you can actually steal gems this way. So it is incredibly important if you are farming gems or really anything from any monster to make sure that you have the plunder blade for your palico. It'll make your life so much easier. That is how to unlock all of the Palico items. You guys definitely need to pimp out your Palico. Harley needed some love. I'm glad that we finally did this. And in the next video, we are going to be showing how to unlock the Grimalkin, which I'm super... Not the Grimalkin, I'm sorry. The Gajalaka, which are a nightmare. They can be the bane of your existence if you do not have them befriended. And you actually gain some really amazing perks if you do so definitely keep an eye out on the channel that video will be coming out tomorrow if you guys want to stick around and check that out i may even post it immediately after this video so that you guys have access to it but i hope you all enjoyed it definitely make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and check out some of the other monster hunter content that we've got on the channel we've got tons of builds tutorials and everything that you could possibly need Thank you all so much for your continued support on this series. It's been a crazy journey migrating from Ark to Monster Hunter World. I did not expect so much support getting into a new game like this, and I just want to spend a second to say thank you to each and every one of you, my sponsors, my patrons. You guys have made this possible, making my dreams come true. Thank you so much. I, From the bottom of my heart, I cannot say thank you enough. But um, I'm looking forward to things to come. And that is all I've got for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to show your support and smash that like button. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.